Hey everybody, it's Mike from Here the Watchman. As you can see, we are still in Canton, Ohio, finishing up Coach Dave's Occupy 2019. Uh, you can kind of see we're sneaking here in the back room to do the show. You've got chairs in the background here. And, and uh, it's been a great conference. Uh, like I said, it's wrapping up. They are out preaching in the streets right now. Um, they're going to come back. We have Russ Dizdar up today. Uh, you can still take advantage of it. Uh, just go to Occupy2019.com. Uh, there is some free live streaming there for a donation. You get the uh, archives to the entire conference. It's whatever donation you feel uh, it's upon your heart that you want to give to Coach Dave to continue his ministry so you can get that. So take advantage of that. Now today, we got a big scare last night. My good friend Chance from American Survival Wholesale was having some... Uh, some bad chest pains, breathing problems, and uh, fortunately we were able to uh, talk his stubborn rear end into uh, going over to uh, see a doctor. But the doctor almost killed him. Chance, talk to us about what happened last night. Absolutely. Loud. <laughs> so the issue was I had a hard time just breathing, Mike, um, taking a breath. And I explained to the doctor after my wife and you saying, get your stupid butt to the doctor, <laughs> and uh, uh, Carla as well, yes, saying, get your butt to the doctor. I finally went to the doctor, uh, urgent care, last night, and I explained to her what was going on, and I said, look, when I sit up, I can breathe, but it, there's pain, and when I lay down, I can't breathe at all. It, there's just so much pain, I can't breathe. And so I give her a little bit of the history. I was sick after here, the Watchman Dallas, and I'm still trying to recover, not getting enough sleep, not taking care of my body, right? And so she's like, yeah, okay, you know, it's late, and i got to get out of here pretty soon, but let's see what we can do for you, okay? So she said, I think what's going on is you have bronchitis with an onset of pneumonia. With, said, without, you had chest x-rays, right? No. Oh, no, this no, is just no kind of like rays, no kind of on the fly. No, oh, no x-rays, okay. no tests. She goes, hmm. you know, your blood pressure is dangerously high right now. You're, you, you have a fever. Uh, your pulse is really erratic. Um, but I think that's what's going on, and I'm, I'm just going to prescribe you something. I was like, whoa, doctor, wait, wait, wait. No, that doesn't even match my symptoms. I'm not a doctor, but that doesn't sound right. And she goes, hmm, well, didn't you say that you traveled like 22 hours to get here? I said, yes, ma'am. And she goes, well, you know, when you sit in a car for a while, you build up these blood clots sometimes as we get older. And these blood clots can go up your leg, into your organs, into your lungs, which might be what you're feeling. And then she goes, they can go up into your brain and kill you. I'm like, kill me? I said, Doc, I don't think we're talking about the same <laughs> thing here. And brother, I said this out loud. I didn't mean to. I said, God, please give this doctor a revelation because she's starting to write down prescriptions well, now, isn't for that blood the, clot right, medication. But did she start writing prescriptions for like your pneumonia, pre-pneumonia thing? That she, too. First, she was writing right. down prescriptions for that. Right. She Big pharma, a, right? I mean, that's it's like trying to get you out of the office. She was trying thing. to go home. Yeah. And so yeah, okay. then she started to write me prescriptions for these blood clots. And I said, doctor, I'm sorry, but please, I'm going to tell you one more time what's going on. And she finally admitted, she goes, look, I'm a physician's assistant. Oh. She goes, this might be over my head. Um, you know, I could just send you over to Mercy Hospital over here, the emergency room, and they can give you some tests. She goes, I wouldn't go there personally. I think it's dangerous. <laughs> I'm like, you would send me to a place, doctor, that it's, you wouldn't go yourself. It's one of these hospitals where they go in, but they never come out. I don't know yeah, about all that. Right. But I'm like, I, I shouldn't go if you don't want to go. You're a doctor. So then some time passes, and I'm sharing her. I'm sharing with her my testimony. And guys, before this, I, I went to the Lord, and I said, Lord, just you heal me. And what this shouldn't be about me, honestly. It shouldn't be about me. It should be about whatever is going to happen that we can serve the kingdom and that we can share a testimony from this and so i'm telling her about russ Dizdar, and i'm telling her about coach dave and i'm telling her about dr mike spaulding right and she's writing some things down and she goes well 
I don't know about, she goes, Dr. Dizdar, so she gave him a promotion. <laughs> and I don't know about this um, Coach Spalding and <laughs> so you know, hit promotion. But here's what I do know. She goes, as you've been sharing this information with me, she goes, your blood pressure has dropped. Your, she had this thing around my finger, that's why I right. keep looking here. My pulse had now stabilized. My fever was gone. And she says, your energy level is up. Well, thank and God I you said, didn't mention here the watchman, because if you'd mentioned that, you probably would have just fallen over right there. <laughs> right? <laughs> so uh, she says, so whatever is on your heart, she goes, I can see that's making a difference in your body. Wow. And I said, I, that was my opportunity to, you know, of course, witness. And I said, that's not me. She goes, you're right. I haven't done a thing to you yet. Wow. Right? And I said, that's the Lord healing me. Because there were people here, Mike, that were praying for me. Oh, I yeah. No, it. we were big time. We were, we were all worried about you over here. I felt it. I really did. Here's the part, brother, that blows me away. So I prayed that prayer out loud. Doctor, please give me, give, or please, if God, please give this doctor revelation. Her words to me exactly were, I just got a revelation. I'm going to phone a friend. You know, like, who wants to be a millionaire? Right, yeah, phone right. A friend. Yeah, yeah, you get so that one call, right? That yeah. one call. <laughs> yeah, right. So this physician's assistant calls the number one doctor in Cleveland and emergency trauma, and he says, based upon what I'm hearing, he goes, right away, give this guy a shot of steroids in the butt. Give this, get this guy on 800 milligrams of uh, Motrin. Get this guy on this antibiotic and this antibiotic, and he'll be okay tomorrow. And she gets off the phone, and that was it. He was right, and she was wrong twice. Yeah. Now, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but if I would have left that office doubting the Lord, not being obedient, I would have just said, okay, give me these prescriptions for this blood Yeah, and you could have been dead this morning. I could have been dead this morning. Yeah, and you, instead, you know, we were, I was, like, completely surprised, folks, to see him come in this morning. I mean, I had prepared a whole crew of guys to tear down his tables here and pack all his stuff up for him that because uh, he's had a, he has all these products here uh, on display and uh, he comes in chipper with a, a cup of coffee like nothing happened i was like what what happened to you and i heard this story and i thought it, it's important that we share this with you because you know uh, if you're having chest pains if you're if you're experience, experiencing the symptoms that chance uh, was experiencing you do need to seek medical attention. You you really do. You you can't just sit there and pray it away. You need to go in and you need to seek medical attention. But the miracle that happened yesterday is Chance had the wherewithal to reach out to the Lord for help in a very difficult time. And as we were all praying here and he was praying there, as always, the Lord delivered. And now here he is, uh, almost as good as new. We're not going to let him smoke or vape anymore or... or uh, or do anything bad <laughs> like you know I quit smoking uh, you know so uh, uh, we're just gonna kind of keep our eyes on him and, and make sure he doesn't uh, doesn't overdo it the rest of this conference but I thought it was important to, to bring this to you chance thank you for sharing your uh, testimony with us uh, you know and uh, you know our hearts and prayers go out to another gentleman that's been part of this uh, Christian media I'm not going to say his name right now uh, who uh, was working on a show, uh, who's no longer working on that show, and uh, uh, is going through kind of a rough spell in his life. And uh, our hearts are with him, our prayers are with him. Uh, he knows who he is. Um, so God bless each and every one of you. Chance, thank you for taking time out of the day. We're going to go finish up the conference here in Canton, Ohio, at the uh, Courtyard by Marriott, and we'll see you next time here on The Watchman's Report.